Thanks for watching our tutorial about our SAML plugin for Jira with one login. We'll show you how to set up our um, SAML plugin uh, in Jira to authenticate against one login and also how to um, just in time provision users and assign groups to these users. So let's go to our um, Jira version then. Okay, go to the plugin configuration. Um, so add ons. And then select uh, SAML single sign on. And when you go there the first time, you get our uh, create new IDP uh, wizard. So add new IDP and select one login from the wizard. I'll just give it a description like one login demo. Then click on next. And now copy the base URL here. We need that in uh, one login in a second. Then let's uh, move to one login. We're logged in as a admin there. And then under apps, add app. Search for resolution. We have a predefined profile here. Click on it. And um, just give it a display name, how you want it displayed, and then click um, Save. Right, let's go to Configuration. Here we need to paste the base URL we just copied in our plugin. Then click on Save. Now I'm just going to quickly show you the parameter section because that's important for us um, creating users. Um, you actually see uh, we have predefined some fields which is um, email, first name and last name um, as being attributes. On rules and SSO we'll leave our defaults. Um, they're all pre-populated. Next thing we need to do is go to access and um, select um, here roles default and roles default means that every user in one login can actually access this integration. If you were to select a different group that would limit who can actually access this. Click on save. Now we need to copy the uh, metadata URL, go to um, more actions and then right click um, uh, SAML metadata and then copy link address. And let's go back um, to our plugin thereafter. Click on next, please. And now paste the uh, one long in um, metadata URL. Paste, that's the one. Click import, and now we say metadata import successful. Then go to next. In this tutorial, we assume our user ID in Jira will match the user ID used in one login. That's why we can leave this box checked. If that would be not the case, or we would want to use a different user ID in Jira than the one in one login, um, then you would uncheck the box and then you have a lot of options how to transform or change the user IDs automatically. Click next. So in this tutorial, we also want to show you how to create users just in time and update them uh, with information uh, on every subsequent login. To enable this functionality, uh, you need to check the box Enable User Creation. And now we need to configure a couple of um, attributes. The minimum we need to do is the full name and the email attribute. Remember from one login, I'll just go quickly back there. From the parameters, we actually had defined um, email, first name, last name as attributes to be sent over to, um, to our plugin. So if I go back, um, now I need to combine first name and last name into the full name. And um, uh, to do that, I need to uh, put first name and last name into curly brackets since I'm combining uh, two IDs. 
and then the email attribute is um, just going to be email. Right. And the other thing we want to show in this tutorial is that our plugin can auto assign group on uh, groups on login. So I now um, will select um, a user group which every newly created user is going to be assigned to um, on login, and I'm going to uh, take um, Jira Service Desk users for an example. So that's actually enough to um, uh, to create new users and give them a initial group in Jira. You could also, with a variety of IDPs, um, have the IDP send those groups, and we've shown that in some other tutorials. Um, how to do that. Click on save and next. Now we're mostly done with our configuration so it's a good time to test if it works. So if you click the um, start test that will create what we call an authentication tracker and an authentication tracker is actually um, a cool way to see a live authentication um, in progress. So we'll leave this authentication tracker window open. Um, we'll just um, cut and paste the um, uh, URL and then um, for the tracker and then open that URL in a, a new window. Um, and in that new window, we'll get redirected um, and do our login. And we might swap back two or three times to the tracker so that you can actually see what's happening um, live in terms of um, the authentication. So let's um, copy that URL then. And let's go to um, a new browser window. There we go. Paste the um, URL. And now we open Jira and get redirected to one login um, straight away. Let's log in with our user then. Login. So and now you see um, it actually logs in logs me into the Jira instance um, with the uh, newly created user. If I now go back to our plugin to the authentication tracker, so you see success uh, logged in the user JB at resolution DE and also what has been done um, creating the user, adding the user to our group Jira service desk users. Uh, etc. So this is a great source for troubleshooting if something went wrong, but also to um, see what was happening. And you can also see all the attributes here um, that have been sent by um, one login to our plugin. Let's click on next. Um, and then we're actually pretty much um, done with the configuration of the plugin. So the only thing left to do now is to enable single sign-on redirect. Everything we've done so far was non-intrusive to the user, so he didn't see what you were doing. He logged in via a special URL, did all your tests. And once we turn on the option Enable SSO Redirect, um, actually all users will be redirected um, to one login for their login and then uh, back into Jira. So you can do that now, uh, or you just come back to the plugin configuration. You say Save and Close Now and come back to the plugin configuration uh, during a maintenance window. So enable SSO redirect and then there's a second thing we need to do um, which is to override the logged out URL method. Um, basically otherwise if a user um, chooses logout he would be straight logged back in uh, due to the redirect. Um, so we, um, we choose redirect only SSO users after logout so that they get a custom page shown. That custom logout page and basically shows them that they have logged out uh, and give them a link to log back in. You can certainly change a template or provide a custom URL. Fine. So could, uh, go to save and close now. And then you're actually done with the um, configuration. That concludes the setup one login together with our plugin. Thanks for watching this and uh, your interest in our plugin. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. As you can imagine, we can always only show you the most common scenarios in those tutorials and that might not fit your case 100%. Um, however, our plugin has a lot of options um, how to customize it um, to your needs. I can only urge you to um, 
book one of the free setup sessions that we offer, which is going to be a screen share between you and one of our engineers so that you can ask a lot more questions, but also that we can help you set um, our plugin up in exactly the way that it fits your needs. So um, in the video description below, you find the link to book one of those sessions. Um, alternatively, you can certainly visit our documentation. Uh, and there's also a support link if you want um, more traditional help via our support portal. Um, then that's obviously accessible to you as well. So we would really love to um, uh, get you started quickly. And again, those screen share sessions are a great way to get started um, without a lot of hassle. Um, really love to help you. Thank you very much.